Yo, what's up, tech fam? Welcome back to the channel where we break down the wild world of gadgets without making your head spin. If you're new here, smash that like button and subscribe. Today, we've got some juicy drama in the chip world. Picture this, Samsung's throwing shade at TSMC, the big boss of chip making, by sliding into Qualcomm's DMs with a shiny new toy. We're talking a Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 sample built on cutting-edge 2 nanometer tech. Is Samsung about to steal the show? Or is this just a fancy paperweight? Stick around for the full scoop. This video is packed and we're aiming for that full 10 minutes of non-stop vibes. Let's dive in. First off, let's set the stage because if you're not deep in the tech trenches, this might sound like alien talk. TSMC, that's Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, they're the undisputed king of making tiny computer brains, aka chipsets. These are the powerhouses inside your phone that make everything zoom. They crank out chips for heavy hitters like Apple, yeah, your iPhone, Qualcomm, MediaTek, and even NVIDIA for those beastly GPUs. Samsung? They make their own chips too, but their factory game, or foundry as the nerds call it, isn't quite at TSMC's level. It's like Samsung's a solid home cook, but TSMC's running a Michelin star kitchen. But hold up. Word on the street is Samsung about to level up. According to this X post from at Jukin Los Revi, shout out to the leakers keeping us in the loop, Samsung just handed Qualcomm a sample of the next big thing, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 application processor, or AP for short. That's the brain of your future flagship phone. Everyone's betting TSMC will mass produce this bad boy, but Samsung's sample, it's whipped up on their super advanced 2 nanometer process. Nanometers, folks. That's how small these transistors are. Smaller means faster, cooler, and more efficient. Think of it like shrinking your phone's engine without losing horsepower. Okay, let's geek out for a sec on why 2 nanometers is a big deal. Most chips right now, like the ones in your current Samsung Galaxy or Pixel, are on 3 nanometer or 4 nanometer processes. Dropping to 2 nanometers? That's like going from a bulky old laptop to a sleek new one that Yo, fits in your pocket good, and fam? lasts all day. Welcome back to but the real magic, and this is where Samsung's flexing hard, is the tech inside. Gate all around, or GAA architecture. Wait, what's that? Don't worry, I'm not going to drown you in jargon. Let me break it simple, like explaining it to your grandma over coffee. Back in the day, chips used something called FinFET, that's Fin Field Effect Transistor. Imagine transistors as little switches in your chip. FinFETs are like fins sticking up from the ground, controlling the electricity flow pretty well. But as we cram more switches in to make chips smaller and faster, those fins start getting squished and efficiency drops. Heat builds up, power gets wasted, boom, your phone's a toaster. Enter GAA gate all around. It's like wrapping the switch in a full hug instead of just a side pad. The gate, that control part, surrounds the whole channel where electrons zip through from all sides. Result? Way better control, less leakage of power, higher speed, and lower energy use. It's like upgrading from a leaky faucet to a smart one that only drips when you want. Over FinFET, GAA means up to 30% better performance or 50% less power draw. Numbers from the labs anyway. Samsung's betting this makes their 2 nanometer samples irresistible. Now, don't get too hyped yet. One sample ain't no done deal. Qualcomm's going to torture test this thing like it's auditioning for American Idol. They'll check power efficiency. Does it sip battery or chug it? Performance. Can it crunch games and AI without breaking a sweat? Heat generation. Will it stay cool under pressure or melt like the last time? If it passes, maybe trial production kicks off. But even then, Qualcomm's no fool. They might not ghost TSMC entirely. See, Samsung's not dethroning TSMC overnight. TSMC's tech is so dialed in, it's like they've got a moat around their castle. Qualcomm could play it smart with dual sourcing, buying chips from both, spread the risk, negotiate better prices, keep things humming if one factory hiccups. It's a win-win, right? But here's the tea. History's got some shade on Samsung-Qualcomm collabs. Flashback time. Remember the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1? That was a few years back, built on Samsung's 4 nanometer process for phones like the Galaxy S22. It was hyped to the moon, but launch day? Disaster city. 
Phones overheated like they were in a sauna. Yields, that's how many good chips you get without defects, were trash. Qualcomm bailed hard, switched to TSMC for the fixes, and never looked back. Ouch. We even heard whispers earlier this year about teaming up again for the Snapdragon 8 Elite. That's this Gen 5 we're talking, but nope, plans scrapped. So, why trust Samsung now? Maybe they've learned their lesson, fixed the kinks, poured billions into their foundry. This 2 nanometer sample could be their redemption arc. If it wows Qualcomm, boom, orders incoming. And get this, 2026 is the magic year. That's when 2 nanometer chips flood the market. Your next next phone, powered by this wizardry, making 4K video edits feel like child's play, AI that predicts your text before you type them, and batteries that laugh at all day use. Imagine it, smoother gaming, cooler temps during that epic Fortnite sesh, and eco-friendly vibes because less power means less charging. Samsung landing Qualcomm could shake up the entire industry. Apple might peek over, MediaTek 2, TSMC better watch their back. But real talk, is this hype or reality? Drop in the comments, would you switch to a Samsung-made Snapdragon phone if it slays the benchmarks, or Team TSMC forever? I've got my theories, but I want to hear yours. And hey, if you're digging these deep dives, hit that bell. Next week, we're tackling foldables versus slabs. Who's winning? All right, tech squad, that's the word on Samsung's big swing at Qualcomm. From two nanometer dreams to GAA glow-ups, it's heating up out there. Thanks for riding with me. If this vid hit 10 minutes, you know it was worth it. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.